Welcome to um, Athens City Council. This is our uh, first meeting of the year, Monday, January 6th, and we're going to begin by um, swearing in new officers, uh, new councils, um, et, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to begin with our law director, Patrick Lang, um, swearing in the the oath of office for our treasurer, Mary Ann McClure. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as you said, we're going to uh, do a few uh, different uh, oaths here this evening. We're going to begin with the city treasurer and then uh, yourself, Mr. President, and then I understand that all members of council have chosen to be sworn in as a group just to uh, help get us out of here a little, uh, a little quicker so we all don't freeze to death. Um, when administering oaths, it's always a reminder for me, even when, uh, you know, I'm not necessarily the one being sworn in, is just... Uh, the fact that while it is the our fellow citizens who have given us the honor of, of serving here in these capacities uh, that we that we do, uh, that the oath and, and the allegiance that we swear is to the law. And uh, with that in mind, I would like to go ahead and begin. Uh, Mary Ann, if you're ready to, to accept the oath, if you would uh, raise your right hand and repeat after me, please. I, Mary Ann McClure, do solemnly swear. I do. I, Mary Ann McClure, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And that, I will faithfully, and that I will faithfully, honestly, honestly and, impartially, and impartially, discharge the duties, discharge the duties of, Athens City Treasurer, of Athens City Treasurer, to which I have been elected, to which I have been elected for the term beginning January 1st, for the term beginning January 1st 2014. 2014. Okay, congratulations. Coming there. Uh, Mr. President, if you'd like to come on up. <clears throat> and the reason that we're doing these two separately is that since obviously since they're different offices, it's, it's a slightly different oath, and it would just be better to do it that way. Okay, Mr. President, if you raise your right hand and repeat after me, please. I, Jim Sands, do solemnly swear. I, Jim Sands, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Honestly. Honestly. And impartially. And impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties as President of Athens City Council. As President of Athens City Council. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected for the term beginning January first, two thousand fourteen for the term beginning January 1st, 2014. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Okay. okay, everyone should have this oath down right now, so I'm, I'm not going to ask you to repeat after me. I assume you've all got it memorized at this point. <laughs> but if you would all please uh, uh, stand and raise your right hands. And repeat after me, I state your name. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And that I will faithfully, honestly, and impartially discharge the duties of member of Athens City Council, to which I have been elected. Which I for the term beginning, for the term beginning January, 1st, January 1st, 2014. 2014. Okay, congratulations, council members. Thank you, Law Director Lang. Um, our next little business, our next business, not little business, our next business is to appoint um, our clerk of council. And to do that, we need a nomination from the floor to um, nominate this young lady sitting beside me. I, I would love to nominate Debbie Walker as our clerk. Do I have a second? Second. second. Okay. <laughs> we all second. We all. Unanimous. All those in favor of accepting uh, Debbie Walker as the clerk of uh, council signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, don't bother. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. And we, as always, appreciate everything you do. Congratulations. Um, and um, 
And um, our final designation is uh, to accept uh, Patrick Lang. Now, now we're going to do this. <laughs> uh, des designation of Patrick Lang as our parliamentarian. Do we have a motion? So move to uh, appoint or designate Patrick Lang as parliamentarian. Second. Second. All those in favor of designating Patrick Lang as our parliamentarian, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Congratulations, Patrick. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with that business taken care of, are, do we have any communications from council members at, at this moment? It's pretty early in the year to have those. Um, I'm sorry, I skipped over. Uh, we need to um, accept our minutes of our last regular session, which was held December 16th in the year 2013. It was a, the last meeting of our calendar year and the last meeting of that particular um, group of council members. Could I have, a, again, a motion to accept the minutes of December 16th. I move that we accept the minutes of second. December 16th. And we have a second here. All those in favor of accepting the minutes of the regular session on December 16th, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Yes. The minutes are accepted. Um, we don't have any communications. We do. Okay. Uh, just a brief one, um, and that is that and with the cold weather that everyone I'm sure is fully aware of, that the Athens Community Center is open, as I understand it, as a warming station um, here in Athens for anyone to go warm up. And I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Mayor, that that's through the week. Um, um, it'll be determined at this point. Uh, we're talking about going having it go through at uh, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and. Uh, Every day through Wednesday, actually. We're expecting a warming trend in Wednesday. And if there's a power outage, the expectation is we might extend it to overnight or 24 hours. But right now, there hasn't been a significant power loss, at least at last report. Thank you. Member Nisley? Uh, yes, just an announcement that the Finance Committee members do from time to time meet with the auditor and the mayor. That meeting has typically taken place on Wednesdays at 2.30. We'll be determining if that will still be the meeting time, but um, I did want to announce that those meetings happen. <clears throat> and our meeting next week will be meetings of um, committee, and some of those committees might have just relatively perfunctory meetings uh, to prepare for uh, a meeting at some other time. Um, any other communications from council members? Okay, seeing none, we'll move on. Uh, reports and communications from other elected officers, uh, uh, officials, I guess the word is. Mayor? Oh, um, well, okay, welcome back, everybody. Happy 2014. Um, thank you for inviting me to your retreat. Uh, I hope it was informative. Uh, we went over, of course, some uh, projects we want to accomplish. Uh, I understand the committees was still committee meeting uh, arrangement is still being in flux, or maybe it's done by now. Um, let's see. Again, we do meet about weekly with the auditor. I do at least uh, with the idea of looking at our finances as they go. Pretty much, they're right now compiling it. Uh, pretty much everything's shut down and right now in terms of POs, et cetera, et cetera, because we're just entering all the data. Um, other things, again, to reiterate, the Athens Community Center is a warming shelter. And that's really the only important one, I would say, since it's about zero degrees out there right now. And that's about it. Okay. Our treasurer? Not tonight. Not tonight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're passing out some uh, committee assignments. Um, this is our third or fourth iteration of that. So if uh, people have um, concerns or questions, please um, contact me. Let me know. It, this, this is, again, a um, work in progress. Um, we have an opportunity for... Can I have yes. a quick 
Uh, I'm sorry. So that's Go okay. ahead. So it's with these new uh, digs that we've got here, it's easy to, easy to forget about them. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Ms. Uh, Mr. President, and um, again, I want to share my congratulations both with you and with all the members of City Council uh, on your elections and on your willingness to, uh, to serve here in the coming term. I look forward to, uh, to continuing to work alongside all of you. Um, I'd like to uh, give a brief uh, kind of annual uh, report on the, the goings-on in, uh, in my office, and I think that it's, uh, by and large, 2013 was a pretty good year for the city, uh, legally speaking. Uh, we've continued to um, continue a positive trend of, of being generally involved in, in less uh, litigation than, than the city has found itself in and in some years past. Um, I've continued to uh, employ three full-time uh, prosecutors in my office, which uh, council has, uh, has chosen to create those positions, and two full-time legal secretaries, and tasked with the responsibility of maintaining the criminal docket in the municipal court and handling a, a very, um, uh, very large uh, caseload, uh, not only for the city of Athens, but also for uh, other uh, areas of the county, the, all of the unincorporated areas of Athens County, in addition to all of the criminal cases that come out of the city uh, in the municipal court. Um, I wanted to just briefly touch on the, uh, the litigation which we are currently involved in or which we were involved in throughout 2013, um, and the first one being uh, probably the, the, the biggest and, uh, and certainly the, the, the longest running uh, of our cases and the only case uh, to which we are currently a party in federal court, uh, that is the uh, Stotts, v, uh, Stotts versus Pearson uh, case to which uh, also the city of Athens and the um, members of the uh, Board of Zoning Appeals are also uh, named as defendants in that case. This, of course, involves the proposed adult-oriented business uh, that uh, the license was initially, um, or the permit was initially applied for back in 2007. And so this is the only case that we've got that early at issue, uh, in addition to some other things, are uh, the zoning code, uh, which has since been changed. But since the application in this case was made prior to uh, the changing of the code, we're still having to deal with the zoning code as it existed back in 2007 when the initial application was made. And so that is, uh, again, in, in the Southern District, uh, Federal District for the state of Ohio, and is on pace for a trial here in the coming weeks. And so uh, in, unless a settlement is reached, which uh, as of this point uh, there has not been a settlement reached, uh, then that will go to trial as scheduled. Uh, in the state courts, uh, we have a handful of cases, uh, almost all of which, all but one of which, uh, has been uh, going on for at least the past year. So you've heard me comment on these before. Uh, the one ca uh, first case being uh, Jeffrey Dill uh, et al. versus City of Athens and uh, Integrated Services. This involves a proposed or an operating business, rather, over on the east side of town. Um, and there are actually a couple of different cases that are involved in, uh, in this issue. Uh, one of the cases, uh, both of which uh, were decided on the trial court level, went on up to the appeals court. So uh, on the case involving the appeal of, of, uh, of the board of, of the BZA uh, opinions, that case has uh, been remanded now back to the trial court from the court of appeals so that the, the trial court uh, must hold an issue, uh, must hold a hearing rather, on the issue of standing. Uh, so the question there being, do the residents of this neighborhood have legal standing to, uh, to bring forth a challenge in the, in the way that they did? And also attached to that case was a taxpayer lawsuit uh, in which uh, the, several of the same plaintiffs in this case um, initially had come to, uh, to me as law director uh, some time ago to request that I would file a taxpayer suit against the city of Athens for some uh, alleged um, uh, uh, that, uh, improprieties is too strong a word, some alleged uh, areas in which the, the procedures weren't followed uh, uh, to the letter. Uh, I had declined uh, to file that taxpayer suit, so they went ahead and, uh, as is their right, and filed the suit themselves. Uh, we filed for a dismissal of that case. Uh, that case was dismissed uh, at the trial court level. Uh, then the uh, uh, opposing counsel had uh, appealed that to the Fourth District Court of Appeals, and we'd just gotten our ruling back uh, a couple of weeks ago in which uh, they uh, upheld the dismissal, so the taxpayer lawsuit uh, facet of that uh, case is, uh, at least for now, pending any further appeal, uh, that the city has, has been successful on that for the time being. Um, and then uh, two other cases which have been going on for some time now, both of which involve uh, infrastructure issues. One is uh, Larry's Incorporated versus the City of Athens. This is a case involving uh, some uh, business offices on Columbus Road, which had suffered uh, some damages as a result of floodwaters from backed up storm drains uh, a few years ago. And that uh, is a case uh, which is still uh, pending. Uh, and then also another similar case uh, as far as uh, being involved with infrastructure, that's a matter versus City of Athens, and that is a, uh, a case in, uh, which also is involving uh, some, uh, some infrastructure uh, issues uh, that had been uh, 
that happened some time ago. Uh, that in that case, the city uh, prevailed at trial court uh, in the past year, and that case is currently being appealed uh, by uh, by the plaintiffs in that case. Uh, so we've got uh, oral arguments scheduled uh, coming up here sometime, I think, in the next few months on that case. And then finally, in the only uh, case that we have which is new to report and is not a case uh, in which uh, you know monetary damages are, are uh, necessarily at the forefront, but uh, Sean Jones versus the City of Athens, this uh, case is uh, primarily a mandamus case. This is one in which uh, a property owner on Columbus Road uh, is alleging that uh, the value of his property uh, has suffered some uh, diminution in value as a result of uh, things that they allege that the city uh, had done uh, in primarily involving a water, a drain pipe, which is a few feet outside of the city's right of way on his property. So that uh, actually was just filed in December or in November, and the city has just recently answered that. So we're just getting started on that one. Uh, so that is uh, kind of a, a thumbnail sketch of all of, of where we find ourselves legally entering this new year. Again, I think it's, it's generally a pretty good position, uh, again, especially uh, you know in comparison to where we've been in some years past where we've had significantly uh, more uh, caseload. So we're... Uh, we're feeling good about where we're at. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Director. Do we have any comments or questions from council members at this, uh, time, at this time? I have a question. Hmm? Um, do you anticipate any need for an executive session in the near future for any of these particular cases? or? Uh, not that I'm immediately aware of. Uh, okay. In the event that uh, we find that that becomes necessary, I'll certainly uh, let you know as, as soon as I know anything on that. But as of right now, I would say we're uh, um, we're not going to be needing anything in the immediate future. Okay, thank you. Um, now we have opportunity for citizens to speak on legislative items, not that we have any legislative items before us, um, or city services that have not been covered on the agenda. No? Um, yeah. And um, so, I did mention earlier this evening that most committee meeting, most committees will be meeting um, on next Monday. Um, do we have? Um, yes, transportation. I, then I need to also announce, uh, as our standing committee, we are meeting at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon okay. at the Engineer and Public Works Department. So. Transportation. Tomorrow, 3 p.m. We will. Be meeting. We will. Uh, with Mr. Stone. Okay. And then also, you'll be talking to us um, next, next week. Monday. Yes, okay. correct. Um, and finance, I assume. Yes, so that's Ken needs to know. Um, city and safety services. Yes. Sir. And planning and development. Not that I know of. Not yet. Okay. No. Nope. Winters. You'll slow. Find out. It's a slow season in winter. Okay. Mayor Wallace. Um, first off, I, it'd be nice to see a committee listing when you get a chance to get me one. Uh, two, I was under the impression that there was going to be a presentation by OU about the uh, draw, the street on the South Green area. Do you is next that week on the uh, agenda? Next week. Okay. That's why I was wondering. Okay. And does that fall into transportation, planning, development, or what? transportation at this point okay just wondered thank you so well, and also um, I believe we will No, that'll be the 27th we'll have that other group in yes so OU is next week next Monday Monday that'll be part of your meeting transportation committee okay. meeting this is a uh, proposed uh, roadway which would in which would involve um, the city's right of way, which is Mill Street, um, which used to go all the way down to the river, and there was a bridge there. Um, and the university is proposing a use of that, so we're going to be talking about that. So we will have uh, committee meetings next Monday. And um, at this time, I think we've dealt with all business, so we are adjourned. We're going to need another um, motion to uh, appoint Kent Butler as our president pro tem and Chris Nisley as our acting.
president pro tem. Um, they will serve when I'm not present in, 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 in the order that I just mentioned. It. Uh, Kent Butler is um, second in seniority to, to me. Um, just that's just time in the job. And uh, then Chris Nisley is, is second senior. Um, could we have a motion? Mr. President, I move to appoint Kent Butler and Chris Nisley as uh, the aforementioned. Second. 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 All those in favor of selecting uh, Kent Butler as president pro tem and Chris Nisley as acting president pro tem signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Okay. Thank you and congratulations to both of you. Thank you.